John here. Um, today is um, Friday, the 2nd of um, June 2017. Yesterday I had a bit of mishap with my uh, teeth and um, uh, for the last four days been a uh, terrible experience with a um, infected tooth and I had to get it pulled out and it threw me right out uh, but um, however yesterday I thought I'd kill the whole thing off and have four of these, Panadol, to kill the pain, there, four of those. And then I had three of these at the same time, these um, antibiotics. I'm going to take these antibiotics, those ones, three of those. And then I had six of these. Here, I've gone for the first one yesterday. Six of those, just got these medications, the new ones. And um, four of these, four of these nighttime ones, those are daytime ones and these nighttime ones, for my heart. And so that's 17 altogether of these pills to knock me out, <coughs> to fix up the sore tooth problem. What happened is it's got infected after they pulled a tooth out in uh, Green Lane Hospital. I had a job going to Middlemore Hospital, only to find that when I went there, they wouldn't answer the phone. She'd go back to your GP. So I went there and they said, no, they don't do teeth, so I had to come back. And then in the meantime, the Green Lane rang me up and to come in, because I'm on their list there as a heart patient. But um, my blood pressure's been too high. I'm used to it. It's at, um, you know, I tested it yesterday at the doctor's, and it was reading 190 over 110. That's normal for me. Um, without taking my medication, that's these ones, those, these lot, I'll take night time and daytime here, so these were very strong, too strong actually, so all this lot down here, there's heaps of them here, and I don't take them so they're just heaped up over there, all that money wasted, cost me um, about $62 altogether for that lot, and for that one, and for the blister packs as well, $6 each blister pack, that's those pack ones, and um, uh, as well as uh, medication for three months. Uh, so anyway, it seems to be alright, um, but the last lot, the brother of, um, of um, Rob, I think he is, you know, his name is the doctor, um, he's been a bit lenient on me, I wouldn't go to my doctor, the brother, Gopi Naya, because he's a grumpy fella, and I don't get on with him, but however, I wouldn't go there anymore, but um, my nurse came around and took me up and arranged with his brother to uh, look after me. And so the brother gave me these and they're actually quite good. And that's all that had to happen, um, um, whereas um, Gopi gave me too strong and knocked the hang out of me. That's why I wouldn't take them. Um, but now it seems to be okay, quite happy, that he's reduced some of the dose. Uh, so I don't need much for my heart, just to, just to get the blood pressure down. It should be 147 over 82 or less. Uh, that's what the doctor's reading was. He put the arm bandit on his arm and took his pressure and showed me his was 147 over 75 or something. And he says, well, that's where you should be. I said, no, I'm up, up in the scales. And that's the way I've been uh, for a long time. Anyway, uh, we'll see how it goes now. My toothache's gone. All the pills knocked it out. And I can get back to work and scoot off to the gym in a minute and get some exercise. And the cupping is really good. Um, Chinese cupping down my back. And um, it draws out the toxins from my joints. The more my joints are really good. Um, to, thanks to Maggie at uh, Physio, Absolute Physio in Manukau. That's at 16 Lambie Drive in Manukau City. Very good. Um, it works. Um, and so it was black blood coming from here and red blood coming from everywhere else. But uh, the doctor just shunned it off. He, he, he thought, no, it's nothing to do with it. He says, no, your heart's 
problem. You know, it's not my heart the problem. It's up here. It's always been here. Now the tooth, the nurse says, oh, you've got something wrong with your tooth. I said, yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell that doctor, that he's stuffing me up full of pills. And that's not doing much. And yet I've got just black blood coming out of my head. And that just tells me there's something not right. And so um, I'll be interesting to see how it looks after I get my teeth sorted out next time. Um, I'll try not to get in trouble with it anymore. Uh, because I tell you, it knocks you right out. And it was that sore, that sore. And it was sore the next day, yesterday, after they um, took the tooth out on um, Wednesday. Um, Thursday, yes, I was in pain all freaking night until I got knocked myself out of a little 17 of those pills and that really knocked the guts out of it. Anyway, that's that uh, out of the road and I'm back on my work again. I'm just putting out another video. I made another video and then deleted the thing and put up the wrong one. I always make mistakes like that on YouTube. It took me a long time to make the video. I made another one uh, for the writ warrant for this book. To explain all the pages, so that's just being uploaded at the moment. Um, so we're, I'm, I'm sorting out Cork Street and the properties I'm going to seize with the uh, Paramount Chiefs this time. The government here cannot do anything about it because we're going above the law they're using it's fraudulent on the land titles here. They can't prove if they can't prove the title they've got, then they have no right over us in the land still belongs to us. That's what I'm saying on these videos, that the land still belongs to the commercial landowners, which is us, the Paramount Chief, and those on the Moai Crown side, not on the Maori side. They're in trouble with us. I had a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a upset with uh, Ulani Paikia last night on, on, on my phone ringing me up right in the middle of me watching my favourite program, the Master Chef, and it threw me right out um, that uh, the Matua Karanga up north are going their own way and forgetting about um, the rest of uh, Te Timarai, um, where I'm at. I always go back there because that's where everything was put together here in this country, on those marais there, Te Timarai and Waitangi Marae. And so, uh, if it's anywhere else, it's not going to work on this flag. They're using the flag for the wrong reasons. It has no jurisdiction on the 1835 side of this flag. Only the 1834, um, as far as I'm concerned, and as far as the Paramount Chief's concerned, that's how it stacks up. Okay, well, that's all I want to say. I'll just get back to work now, and uh, we'll catch you later, and upload these two videos sometime this afternoon. Okay, bye for now. See you.